What's up, everybody? This is the last episode of Icebreaker. Ah! It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. Um, I'm Jelani Aladdin. I've been your host for the past eight weeks. I play Kristoff and Frozen on Broadway. And thank you guys for the love and support for this vlog. I really, really appreciate it. Um, but this week we're doing hashtag real talk. And so I'm gonna go around the cast and ask them to give you guys advice about what they do on Broadway and how they got to be where they are and how you can get there too. So thank you guys for an amazing, amazing time. And this is your final episode, hashtag real talk. So I'm here with the Patty Mirren who plays Princess Anna. Do you have any advice for anyone who has dreams of being on Broadway? I mean, being a Broadway princess. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it's 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 not for the faint of heart. Yeah. No part of it is. Um, but it's something that you always have to check in with yourself and make sure you still love doing it. Hmm. Because if you don't love doing it, then it's, you know, much like m most other things in life. If you don't love doing them, What's the point? What's the point? Exactly. The point? Okay, so this is Caroline, you guys. Hi, Caroline. How are you, Papa? For all of you who said that I don't like puppies, well, here we are with Caroline. <laughs> Do you have any real talk for anybody who wants to win an Emmy one day? If you want to win an Emmy? Yeah. Yes. Um, if you want to win an Emmy, you have to do something on TV. <laughs> <laughs> so Jeremy, you've done 10 Broadway shows. Yeah. So can you give me 10 words of advice? I'm gonna count my words? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I can do it in two. <laughs> yeah? What is it? Always collaborate. Like, you know, when you come into work and you, you have the ideas about the way you think things should go. Like, yeah. you think a scene should go this way. You have this idea about your character or, or something like that. And a director often will have other ideas. <laughs> and instead of being combative about it, it's it's always best, I find, to collaborate, to take somebody else's opinion in and try to make it work with your uh, your idea. That's wisdom from 10 Broadway 10, shows. Alright you guys, so I'm going to be getting ready for the show and I'm going to answer um, some of your questions that you have tweeted at me or sent to me via Instagram, so here we go. Okay, Princess Allie says... How do you take care of yourself mentally and physically with eight shows a week? Uh, so I take care of myself often by sleeping, which I don't get a lot of, but you need to get to sleep. Um, and mentally, I, I like to hang out with my friends a lot, people outside of the building, people that actually are like not at all associated with Frozen because you have to separate your life from work and you have to find the divide. Were you wearing Black Panther cap during Icebreaker? I <laughs> was wearing a Black Panther cap. Here it is right here. I got this at the New Era store. It's my favorite hat because I loved Black Panther as many of you probably did too. Um, and I wanted to get a hat because Wakanda forever. What do you look forward to seeing in Frozen 2? <laughs> uh, so do Kristoff and Anna get married or nah? Like what's the deal there? I know the, show, the true love is between the sisters, but like, do they end up falling in love? That was kind of left unsettled from the first movie, so I'm looking forward to that. What are your, some of your favorite movie musicals? Chicago, Hairspray, uh, Cabaret, uh, The Wiz. Yeah, I get, that was four, that was a lot. <laughs> What's your favorite stage door memory? Ooh. So uh, one time, I think it was during previews, uh, a young man came at the stage door who was also African American. And he was like, Kristoff is now one of my dream roles. Uh, and that for me was really, really enlightening and made me smile because like, he was like, it wasn't a role I thought I could play, but now because of you, it's one of my dream roles. Share some on-stage screw-ups and or technical malfunctions. Uh, there was one time I punched Sven on stage, so that was not good. So I have these lines at the beginning of Huga um, that are, we need, oh my god, I can't even, I don't even know what it is. This is how much it messes me up. Where, where are your carrots? I need them all. I'm gonna need them all. That's the line. <laughs> I do it every night, I can't remember the line. I sometimes get mush mouth, and sometimes I get, when I get tired, like, words don't come out right. So one night I was like, we need carrot supplies! And just completely messed up the line. 
Ooh, this is a good question. Which character song, not your own, do you love to sing or wish you could sing? So I always sing Dangerous to Dream. Um, whenever I'm, so I get changed while the, while, uh, the scene between Hans and Anna is happening. And then I go downstairs to test out the harnesses and Elsa is singing Dangerous to Dream at that time. And I'm always singing lines from that song. It's the most beautiful song in the show. It's gorgeous. See, the um, real backstory of Kristoff is that he secretly wants to be a queen. And so when you get kicked out, and then coronation wow. happens, you're there reliving it out in the woods with your reindeer. Right, 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 right. That's mm -hmm. totally what happens. Yeah, I know how it goes. <laughs> Is there anything challenging that you do every night during Frozen? Yes, you guys. Doing Fixer Upper, this intense dance number, and then doing the lullaby right after is the hardest thing, and it never gets easier because you're like huffing and puffing, and then you have to sing this like soft, beautiful lullaby to, about Anna. Um, and so I've ran on the treadmill, I've, you know, exhausted myself, to, and like tried to like practice breathing while exhausted, and none of it helps. You just gotta do it, suck it up, and do it. <laughs> Those are all the questions for now. Welcome, Welcome to, to Places with Okay! Yeah! Touches. And Sanders. Today on Places with Oaken, we have Ann Sanders oh, as our guest. Oh, yes. woohoo! Son Anders. Son Anders. Oh, oh. Does that work as well? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, tell us, you, you play uh, the queen, you play the mom of, mm. um, of our little ladies. Mom. You get to be their mom. Yes. What is your favorite part of being their mom? This is a very well, well, that's all the time we have at Places with Oaken. Oaken. Thank you for coming by, <laughs> Stan Anders. <laughs> hey, Claire, so do you have any advice for people who want to be beautiful dancers like you? Um, don't eat during interviews. <laughs> <laughs> and also, when someone tells you you can't, don't listen to them. Real talk about Sven. Physically, Sven is really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk. Um, but the thing that I enjoy about it is um, when people come and they talk to me about Sven and they say how it made them feel, a lot of people talk about like feelings of joy, um, feelings of like, like hope, uh, that empathetic feeling that you have for any pet that you've ever had, you know, that unconditional love. I think, real talk, that's why I enjoy doing Sven. He's like Kevin Delagula, oh, hey, so we have a question to ask you. What advice do you have for anyone who wants to play Oaken? You have to make- Well, well that's, that's all the time, time we have! have. Real <laughs> talk? <laughs> Payback. 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 <laughs> Ross, do you have any real talk for power tenors? Uh, like what? Like, that's you know- Oh, uh, your lights- Okay, it's better now. We're better now. Okay. Um, I don't know, people who like are like super tenors like you, who like have these insane notes that they could just sing every day. Real talk, it's like, you know like when you get up and you're like, STAND UP AND SHOW! And it like doesn't come out right. <laughs> he makes me never want to sing again. No, don't. Don't do that to yourself. <laughs> well, you guys, it's time for the last Elsa Ribs. Oh, how sad. Oh, it was my eight weeks of awesomeness. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I thought as a cool last way to wrap this up, I would have Casey <laughs> rip as much things from the show as possible. This okay. is my warm up for our last show of the week, yeah. our first two o'clock Sunday. Let's do. Do you want to build a snowman first? Because it's in the order. Do you maybe want to take a warm up? Oh, Patty. So, Casey, you should sing. Oh, gosh. Do you want to build a snowman? Ooh! <laughs> Can you imagine her coming around and singing that? That'd be amazing. It's a little extra. I think. Okay, okay. Just a bit of a fixer-upper. This is it now. Ooh! Up. Ooh! Up. Is that Ooh. a group moment, though? Does anyone ever sing that as a solo? She used to sing it as a solo, but now it's a group. Frozen. Yes. In this life I've chosen, please don't find me. The past is all behind me. Leave me in the snow. Let me go. Oh. <laughs> so dumb. Good 
morning. Welcome to the Sorry, Saturday. I've melted and now I can't ever get up because case leave is amazing. Thank you so much <laughs> for being a part of my vlog. That and was fun. I enjoyed this moment with us every You're week. a good vlogger. Yeah. Alright you guys, so as a little bonus, I'm gonna give you a tour of our theater. Uh, so here is the beautiful St. James Theater. Look at all these fantastically renewed, redone, brand new seats that when they did the renovation for Frozen, they put in. Um, right here is the conductor's box. Um, this is where they conduct the show from. Happy Pride, Frozen, the Playboy Pride Playbos. So cool. So back here is where they run all the sound for the show. All the beautiful sound effects that you hear. And then you can hear all of us singing. I don't know if you can see, but here's all the microphones. You have Elsa, you have Anna, Olaf, Hans, Kristoff. Kristoff's off. It's okay. I don't have a mic on. <laughs> this is our house staff who keep everything fantastically running out in the house so that you guys have beautiful seats and you guys are all taken care of when you come to the theater. They're having a little meeting. Look at them. They're amazing. They're the best. Truly the best. And then we're going down to the basement. And in the basement, we have all the laundry stuff to keep our clothes nice and clean. And then there's the girls' dressing room through here. And then we have the boys' bunker right here where they get do their quick changes. And we have our costume shop. And we also have our hair and wig room. You've met Harrendale. They were on last week's episode. Hi, Harrendale. I'm just giving a backstage tour here of all the things we do here at Frozen. All right, we're backstage. More costumes. Costumes on costumes on shoes on costumes. There's so many costumes in this show. It's crazy. I mean, all these people look their bins full of costumes because there's so many quick changes that happen. So we have to be ready. I'm doing a 360 because you know why? It's time for Body by Sven! Do, 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 do. All right, Andrew, let's get it. That doesn't get you warm. Nothing will. <laughs> All right, you guys. So it's come to the end of my vlog, and I want to give a few closing remarks. First, I want to say thank you to all of you guys who have supported me through this vlog, who have been following it, watching it, the crazy nonsense that I do that is not funny and that you guys find funny. I'm <laughs> so glad you find it funny. Um, I also want to say thank you to Broadway.com for letting me do this vlog. Um, thank you to everyone in my cast, crew here at Frozen on Broadway for letting me bother them for eight weeks and <laughs> be in their face with the camera, getting all these backstage things just for you guys. Um, if we're doing real talk, I do want to say that I do encourage all of you to continue to be yourselves in everything that you do, to live your life as fully as you can. Um, I, I know sometimes uh, we as actors think that we must like just like focus on like our acting and the work and blah blah, blah but the truth is just go out there and live your life and life will catch you and life will take you to many, many beautiful places and you bring that back to your work, to your acting, to your craft. Um, one of my favorite quotes is, you can be the ripest, most beautiful peach, and somebody still ain't gonna like peaches. I mean, I don't even like peaches myself, so that quote uh, just sums everything up for me about this career and this life that I've chosen. Um, also, none of us got to where we are today without hard, hard work. You know, it may seem all fun and games, but at the end of the day, like, we come here into this theater and we want to give you guys the best show that we can, so we save our voices, so we, you know, learn our lines and we, we dig inside our characters and really unflesh them and really, really unpack them, um, so we can give you the best show that we can. Uh, so again, 
that's my real talk. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am incredibly humbled by this experience. And if you guys want to follow me, at Jelani Aladdin on Instagram or Twitter, I'm sure there'll be lots more backstage shenanigans happening over the next year and the next, um, and my future Frozen on Broadway. So thank you, thank you. I can't say thank you enough. I said I feel like I've said thank you like a thousand times. I'm I'm a very grateful person. I'm grateful to all of you. <laughs> so again, thank you. And Kristoff out.